2023 election. Vote out corrupt politicians and the boy of charges Nigeria. How, if I may ask? For me, the question I even want to put to our politicians or to Nigerians generally, I will write for democracy that we are practicing in this country. Is this country truly, in all honesty, ripe for democracy? I'm asking this question because we speak the same thing year in, year out. Let us look at it from 1999 to date. The same set of people that have been ruling us, whether in SPD, PDP, APC, AMPP, CPC, AD, ACN, SDP, Labour Party, the same set of people, all they have been doing is moving from one political party to the other. But as this country changed, let's just look at it from 1999. Can we say we are better off? But are the politicians, are we checking them? Can we point to anybody that has been in politics since 1999 that his life has not improved 100%, if not 1,000%, in terms of what they have acquired? in terms of the way they are living, at the detriment of this country. You'll be surprised with their mongos have a amount of money in their accounts, within their family system, with the kind of business they are running today. Some of the business are even artificial, you can't see them. Their lives are better off at the state level, at the national level. You can check them. We can even do a survey on this and come and tell me which politician is not better off than where you he was before he joined politics in this country or before he was appointed into one position or the other. The question I'm asking again is, are we really right for the kind of democracy that we are practicing? Should we not be thinking or start thinking of going, getting a dictator that will handle this country? Imagine we are facing this issue of insurgency since how many years? Until today, all we talk about, how many souls have we lost? the kind of training that they've given to our military personnel. But today, a lot of them have been wasted on this needless crisis that we have allowed to fester on. People have been mentioned to be behind this in crisis in our nation, but nothing has happened. Who are the people? Are they ghosts? Are they not part of this country? Are they not politicians? Who are the people supplying this guy arms? Who had the people that are allowing the arms to be cleared at the ports or in our, on our borders? Are they not Nigerians? And who are the people behind them? Are they not politicians? A politician can push somebody to a sensitive place to make sure that whatever he wants to do, he gets it done easily. Why? Because his person is there to give him express clearance. Honestly, we should start looking at a nation where there is no political party and the countries are moving on. Maybe we should discuss political parties and let's look for people that will come up and say, okay, these are the, these are the people that we can put in their go there. If you don't perform, we will remove you immediately. But if we if see you, if you are caught in corruption, there is no mercy. You should be sentenced either to life or to be killed immediately. Because it's a shame that as a nation of over 200 million, but the national resources we are endowed with, just let us check these politicians since 1990. I don't want to talk about the past. But the 1999, the majority of us are well, we have seen. Is there any politician that have gone into politics at whatever level that like his life is no better off before he, he got to that position at the detriment of this country? You move from 100 kilometers of road, is no good. It's not safe. There's no light. Education system in shambles. But individual politicians look at the mansions they are building here and there buying properties within and outside the country. Where are the money from? Is it not the natural, is it not the resources that they are supposed to use to better the nation that they are using to better their own lives? He's saying that we should not vote for corrupt politicians. Who are they? The ones that is not corrupt, the moment he gets there, what happens to him or her? They change level at the detriment of this country because impunity is everywhere. Even if they steal, all they need to use to spend 1% of whatever they have taken. And the lawyers are there to defend them. The senior advocates are there to collect their own. At the end of the day, they will be just adjournment, adjournment, and after a while, you don't hear about it again. So the electorate, 
they will want to still continue to vote for these politicians because there's nothing you can do. The moment they get there, forget any one of them, they come with sweet mouth. Check all of them from 1999. Look them from top to bottom or bottom to top. And they know the same set of people moving from one political party to the other just because of their own personal interest. If you look at them, generally there's no one that will say yes because of this country. Everything they are taking, talking about is just lip service. They are telling us it's about this country, it's about... But when they get there, you see, they discover that it's all about them. Whether from one party to the other. Maybe we should even come up with a law. But who even come up with it? Is it the same set of people? That like they are not ready to change anything? A law that will say you can't move from one political party to the other, except you have spent five years in a political party, minimum. Then if you are crossing, you are not getting any elected position immediately. Maybe we should start doing because this democracy that we are practicing, honestly, it has not helped this country. We are not getting any better. Rather, the politicians are the ones making it. As Nigerians prepare to election, new set of political leaders in 2023, general elections, the presidential candidate of the Social Democratic Party, SDB, Prince Adeba Yuadewali, has charged Nigerians to collectively ensure that they vote off out corrupt people out of office, saying that it was the only way to set Nigerians free from the malice, stunting their growth, and preventing the attainment of a potential. Nigeria has a great potential, but the politicians are not helping them. He insisted that it was only by doing that that the country greatness could be achieved. If you want to kick out poverty and insecurity, you will need to kick out corruption. And the only way to do that is to kick the corrupt people out of office. He noted he made a charge recently when he was rich featuring on the Voice of America on the invitation of the United States Commission for International Religious Freedom, insisting that it was the government that is bad and not Nigerians. But who are the people in government? Are they not Nigerians? Nigeria is synonymous with many good things. It is the government that is synonymous with corruption. I disagree. Because the people there, are they not Nigerians? That is the question. The politicians, are they not Nigerians? Are they from another country? They are our people. We know them before they get there, but the moment they get there, they see more. It's like some people, the moment they see money, their eyes will start blinking. Bah, bah, bah. And all they'll be thinking is why. And I think for me, that is the thinking of poverty. Because the moment you do good for this country, the hospitals are working, there won't be any point running over to another country to go and treat yourself. The moment there's security, the moment there's job opportunity for people, they won't be running to be second class citizen in another nation. But this word, we are not using the money, the blessing of that God has endowed this country. We are not annexing it well. Rather, individuals are rich. Some people are richer than their state. In moment they leave office. And one of the things that baffles me is that when another one comes in, let's assume it's government of the state, another one comes in, he wants to be richer than the one that left. And I don't know where they're going with this money. Common amenities you cannot provide. Common thing that is available in other climate, you can't see it here. You can move within the town from here, maybe up to 200 kilometer movement. You can't even find a public place to ease yourself. You have smile no day. You can't get to the clinic and we get there. There's no doctor to attend to you. A student, student in universities or high institution, you see them cloud put as if they are, they are it is disheartening. Honestly, this country would need to start taking some decisions that would bail us out of this crisis. All this opinion, my great people, kindly make it known as you subscribe to my page. Thank you, good day, and God bless.